If you're not inserting a scanned image of a plot plan, you must draw the plan using measurements taken in the field. I'll show you how to draft this typical residence using these measurements. You can download a copy of the measurements in an Adobe PDF format for reference. So I'll start by selecting an 8.5 by 11 1 inch equals 20 feet template in a portrait orientation from the startup screen. Now let's draw the house and garage. First, I'll switch to a building layer and line style. It's important to make sure you're drafting on the correct layer assignment. These layer selections are included in most of the existing templates. But if you're starting a new drawing, make use of the layer manager to create drawing layers. Now that's selected, I can then select the line command from either the draw menu or the toolbar icon. And I can begin drawing anywhere on the design screen by clicking one time with the left mouse button. I can always select the house and move it to another location later if I need to. Now I simply press an arrow key on the keyboard in the direction I need to draw to open the point polar command. I start by pressing the right arrow button and next I type in the length of a wall. I'm starting at the bottom left corner of the house so the first wall is 11 feet. I then press the enter key to complete the wall. The next wall goes down at a 270 degree angle so I'll press the down arrow key. This wall is 2 feet in length so I will type 2 in the distance box and press enter. I continue this process by pressing the arrow keys and entering the distances until I reach the bay window on the back side of the house. Since an arrow key does not exist for this angle, I press the semicolon key to open the point polar command. 0 degrees is to the right, 90 degrees is straight up, 180 degrees is to the left. The wall is between 90 and 180 degrees, so I'll need an angle of 135 degrees. I can click on a directional arrow to select the angle. I'll enter the distance of 2.25 feet and press enter. I press the left arrow key, enter a value of 5 for this wall, and press enter. Now this next angle is between 180 degrees to the left and 270 degrees, which is straight down. An arrow key does not exist for this angle, so I press the semicolon key to open the point polar command, and if I know the required angle of the wall, I can type any angle in the text box. So I'll type the angle of 225 in the angle box, enter the 2.25 wall length in the distance box, and press enter. I use the arrow keys and enter distances for the remaining walls of the house. For the last wall, I can draw it as usual or I can drag my mouse near the starting point and press the right mouse button to jump to that location. I press the enter key to end the line and the house is now complete. Now I need to set a point for the starting location of the garage. I'll reset the anchor point to the back corner of the house, press the A key to enact the anchor point command, drag my mouse near the back left corner of the house, and press the right mouse button to jump onto the house. I start the line command by clicking on the toolbar icon and pressing the apostrophe key to open the point relative command. I make sure the relative to anchor checkbox is checked, and if not, I click on the checkbox until a check mark appears. I need to go 5 feet to the right, so I enter a positive 5 in the DX box. I need to go up 10 feet, so I enter a positive 10 in the DY box and press enter. I'm now in position to draft the garage. I'll draw the garage just like I did the house by pressing direction arrows and entering the length of the walls. 
So I'll press the left arrow key and enter 22 for the distance. Press the enter key and continue the process. I press the up arrow key and enter 20 and press enter. And I'll continue this process to draw the remaining two walls of the garage. That's it. The house and the garage are now complete. I'll rotate the garage in another step.